despite being the number one fastest growing beverage in the soft drink industry, energy drinks are absolutely terrible for your health. In the past five years, emergency room visits from energy drinks have doubled, and some have even tragically ended in death. Yet one study found that 68% of adolescents consumed energy drinks. It's a huge problem. Now, unfortunately, these drinks can take a huge toll on your heart health, potentially causing rapid heart rate, tremors, heart rhythm disturbances, and seizures. A randomized controlled trial in 2019 found that energy drinks elevated blood pressure in otherwise healthy young adults. And another study published in 2022 connected energy drinks with hypertension in children and teenagers. Plus, As most parents know, they can cause mood changes like anxiety and nervousness, sleep problems, and even kidney damage. These drinks are no joke. But what's in them that could cause so much harm? Let's look at the ingredients. First of all, caffeine. Now, one cup of brewed coffee, eight ounces, contains about 70 to 140 milligrams of caffeine. One energy drink can often have five cups equivalent of caffeine of coffee. Red Bull has 80 milligrams of caffeine. Celsius, 200 milligrams. Five-hour energy, 200 milligrams. And bang, 300 milligrams. Now, energy drink manufacturers claim their beverages are natural dietary supplements, meaning these drinks are not subject to regulations that apply to food products. This means they're actually not required to disclose the real amount of caffeine, which actually could be much higher. Caffeine is dangerous in high amounts. You just have to look at the tragedy of Panera Bread. They recently took their charged lemonade drinks off the menu after facing wrongful death lawsuits from that caffeinated lemonade. It's true. You have to be careful with this stuff. And to make matters worse, energy drinks also contain other legal stimulants. Guarana, a South American plant with a more potent form of caffeine. One gram of guaranine, the derivative of guarana, is equivalent to 80 milligrams of caffeine. So that's even more caffeine that they don't even have to disclose. They just say guarana's in here. Taurine, another darling of energy drinks, it's an organic amino acid. Guess what? Our bodies make it naturally. You don't need to add additional taurine. But some energy drinks have 750 milligrams per 8-ounce serving. L-carnitine. Another naturally occurring amino acid that's made by the liver and kidneys. Now, unfortunately, we don't know what the addition of these additives do to the other things in these beverages. Just avoid them completely. Now, the dangerous ingredients don't stop there. Sugar. Are you ready for this? Rockstar, the 16-ounce can, has 63 grams of sugar per can. Red Bull. 51 grams of sugar per can. Monster, 54 grams of sugar per 16-ounce can. That's far more sugar than a Snickers candy bar. One Snickers has 20 grams of sugar. So as you down that energy drink, imagine that you're eating three Snickers candy bar. Sound like a good idea? It might taste good, but not a good idea. Don't even get me started with the sugar-free energy drinks. These could be even worse than the sugar. They use artificial sweeteners like aspartame, which has been linked to cancer and mood changes, and sucralose, a.k.a. Splenda, which has been linked to DNA damage, leaky gut syndrome, and intestinal dysbiosis. Finally, Let's stop with the alcohol and energy drinks. Drunk and wired. 
In most studies, it makes the effects of alcohol even worse. A survey indicated that 25% of college students who mixed alcohol with energy drinks reported engaging in risky behavior like driving while intoxicated, compared to only 12% who just consumed alcohol. It makes you drunk and wired. Another study found that mixing caffeine and alcohol increases the risk of alcohol-related injuries due to reduced perception of intoxication. Approximately 54% of college students reported consuming alcohol mixed with energy drinks, which resulted in a significantly higher incidence of binge drinking compared to those who did not mix the two. It really doesn't get any worse than energy drinks. So please, folks, swear off energy drinks for good and spare your health. There are plenty of healthy options for an energy boost. Well, for a quick fizz, have a cup of coffee. Yes, caffeine at high amounts can be dangerous, but one to two cups of coffee a day is just fine. Plus, coffee is loaded with polyphenols, which will improve your energy but please don't add any cream or sugar. Number two, get adequate sleep. Sleep is essential to have your brain go through a cleaning cycle. Seriously, adults need seven to nine hours of sleep. I have plenty of videos here on my channel for tips for falling asleep faster and staying asleep longer. But ultimately, if you're experiencing low energy, something is wrong. The number one cause of low energy is inflammation. And in my opinion, a leaky gut is the leading cause of inflammation. So what do I recommend for more energy? Focus on your gut health. Clean up your diet. Avoid lectins. Get more polyphenols. Have more fermented foods and ditch sugar and processed foods and drinks. Second, restrict your eating window. Make yourself metabolically flexible. This is directly tied to energy production and improves your mitochondrial function, which are in the job of giving you energy. So here's how to make your own soda. Get yourself some high sulfur mineral water. I like San Pellegrino from Italy. It's got the highest sulfur content of any sparkling water. Sulfur improves your hair, it improves your brain function, it's essential for your skin. This is great, but any other Italian sparkling water will do. And then get some balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar has the miracle ingredient resveratrol, which you hear about in red wine. Balsamic vinegar, unlike red wine, has far higher concentrations of resveratrol, the anti-aging polyphenol. It's really easy. Pour yourself a glass of sparkling water. Take one or two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Start less, work your way up. Put them together, then just stir it around, and you're gonna have your own perfect soda that's actually gonna be good for you rather than kill you. And the taste, it's fantastic. My wife and I have this every night as our pre-dinner cocktail. Start this, go to a restaurant, do the same thing, order a glass of sparkling water, ask for some balsamic vinegar for your salad, put the two together, the waiter will freak out, your dinner mates will say, what the heck are you doing? I guarantee you by the end of dinner, everybody will be drinking this. More amazing episodes just like this one. Watch now. I mixed together 10, count them, 10, of the very best polyphenol-rich teas out there. And I sip them all day at the office. I'm excited to walk you through each one of them and explain why they made the cut 